Gabby Hanna is really out here trying it, trying to make it seem like all these drama channels, including myself, are trying to villainize her and make her look horrible in certain situations and trying to paint her into a negative light, when in fact, it's really just Gabby Hanna's actions that are making her look like this horrible person, or they are making her look like a villain in a lot of situations. I mean, over the past few months, we have seen drama between her and Jesse Smiles, Alex James got involved in it, her old friend Jim got involved in it. There was a lot that Gabby Hanna has still not addressed online. If you aren't familiar with the drama that has been surrounding Gabby Hanna as of recently, she is being called out for uploading a video where she wanted to become an e-girl, which an e-girl is like an emo or scene kid from back in my high school days. I don't know if that's what they call them in school now, but many moons ago, that's what they were. And in her video, she put a picture of Bianca Devins as well as an article that detailed the tragic loss of Bianca and just totally neglected the situation, showed the picture of Bianca and just left it for the world to see. Now, she said in her video, because she did upload an apology to this, she said that I was just looking at the photo and I didn't see what was going over here in the article. And I'm not going to show you guys the article or the screenshot from Gabby Hanna's video right now because I don't want to keep showing that image on this channel. I don't know. It just seems a little weird to me that two people, literally two people, so this is Gabby Hanna, that her friend is sitting right here looking at the computer screen with a picture of someone right here and an article literally right next to it with bold lettering. And you, you know, your eyes sometimes will pick up on a key word or something. It just, it amazes me that neither of them saw what was right next to the picture. So I don't know if I'm really buying that excuse anyways. She showed a picture of Bianca and an article right next to it and just completely left it in, which then fans of Bianca and people that just know the story called her out on for literal weeks until she decided she was going to blur the image and the article and then she was just ultimately going to cut it out of the video and keep the video up. So it kind of it made people a little upset. I'm not gonna lie. There were a ton of people that were very upset about the situation. And Gabby Hanna decided that she was going to sit down and she was going to finally address everything that was going on, which she did. And I will just give you guys my opinion. I thought the apology video was good. Uh, there were a few parts of it where I was like, you know, I feel like that could have been left out. I don't think that should have been included. It came off as a little tacky. And I'm referring to when she was talking about the messages that she had with Bianca's mother. And then she was like, I asked her if I could show these. And I was like, now this seems like a little self-serving, that you wanted to reach out and you just wanted to seem like, oh, I went to the mother, we talked about it, everything is fine. And see, I did reach out and I did care. And it's like you really wanted people to know that so that you wouldn't be like held to the fire anymore. And people would be like, you know what? Maybe Gabby has learned in this situation. And so I was just kind of like, didn't just see it seem self-serving to me. But Gabby Hanna has now gone onto her Instagram story and did a five minute long rant about how drama channels are not letting this go. We are trying to keep the story um, of Bianca go in a negative light because she got called out on Twitter today by Angelica Oles when she noticed that all of her tags in her video were literally for every single drama channel that potentially talked about this entire situation. Now, Gabby Hanna always tries to make it seem like she doesn't care about drama channels. She doesn't want to be in the drama. She's watching all of us. She's been in my DMs. I know a few other drama channels that she's text whenever a story has come out about her, like nonstop, like keeping it going. So Gabby Hanna, in my opinion, is full of shit when she says that she doesn't check for the drama community. Um, so, but here's what Gabby Hanna had to say on her Instagram. To address something right now, um, I usually don't address stuff. I know that I get a lot of criticism for that because people think that I'm trying to hide from something or make something disappear. That's not what it is. It's because I don't like to engage in drama and I know that a lot of times that's just what people want but I feel like this is a situation where it's gotten completely out of control and I need to not only stand up for myself but stand up for Bianca and her family because this is a perfect example of why people are afraid to speak of what some of these channels do and the direction that they go in and what their true intention is and I need to shed some light on this because I feel like people are not letting Bianca for real rest in peace like this is I put out that apology video for her and her family, and it's now being used against me. This is why people are afraid to speak. This is why people don't address stuff, because it just goes to show that you will be villainized no matter what. Today's story is I'm getting in trouble for the tags that I used on this video. I defended Gabby because of her apology while looking for a thumbnail, came across the tags. She uh, put on that apology, I regret being nice now. And then here for the T, responded and said, uh, I don't know where it is, but she said, ma'am, are you kidding me? 
And now that's becoming a thing where I'm a monster for tagging these drama channels. Now, I don't know how many of you know what tags are for or how they work. Tags are used to target a specific audience. So the audience that I'm trying to target is the people who made videos on this situation. I tagged all of the drama channels because I don't know who all made a video on this situation. As you can see, everybody's mad that I misspelled people's names. It's because I don't know them that well. I don't watch them. Now the tags, are to contact and reach those people. So if you watched a video by Here for the Tea, my Instagram cuts off after four frames, I don't know why, but if you watched a video by Here for the Tea or Dustin Daly or any of these other people about the situation with Bianca, then you will get served my apology video. That is the point of the tags. Somehow, me trying to reach the people who saw that content and the people who were wanting an apology and an explanation, this is somehow being twisted into me being a bad person by trying to reach the people who wanted me to say something. And this is just a perfect example of you can't do anything on the internet without people telling you you're a bad person and this is why people don't speak up, this is why people don't try, this is why it took me two weeks to figure out the right way to handle this situation because no matter what, people will poke holes and people will find a reason to hate you. And I'm being attacked for using tags about the people who are talking about this situation and I can't wrap my head. this will turn into something else and all the drama channels will talk about it and now Bianca's name is going to get plastered into thumbnails and titles and people are going to talk about her more and exploit this fucking situation that I tried to put an end to I don't address stuff a lot online. I addressed this one because it was important because people were using Bianca's name and story and reducing her to nothing but a victim when she had a life that she lived and she didn't deserve that. So I addressed it for her and her family. And now because I did that, I'm a bitch and a bad person and I'm attention seeking because I use tags that would target the proper people to get that across and tried to put an end to this so that Bianca can fucking rest in peace. I'm exhausted. You guys want people to talk all the time. You're always demanding an explanation. And then when people give it to you, it will be delivered a genuine and heartfelt apology and a thought out video that I put a lot of time and emotion into and there was nothing wrong with it. So they had to go to the tags and find a reason to pull the tags down. And now the whole video is being basically torn down and dis dismantled because I tagged the channels who I suspected spoke about it. This is taking things too far. Let Bianca rest in peace. Let her family be. Let the situation rest. There is nothing wrong with the tags on this video. The tags are to target an audience. The audience that I was trying to target is the audience of the people who made Bianca's life and death into a story. Please stop. I rarely try to get upset online about this stuff. I rarely try to talk about stuff. I just try to live my life. I try to mind my business. I know that bothers a lot of people, but it's because engaging in this is embarrassing and it's also pointless because these people that are spreading these stories more often than not don't actually give a fuck about what's going on and this proves it. What they care about right now isn't justice for Bianca, not letting her rest in peace. It's about trying to find a way to villainize me at this point. There is no reason to continue this, to continue dragging her into this because by doing this to me, you are dragging her into this and you know that and it's fucking disgusting. I think I'm just a little confused on this one because in Gabby Hanna's apology video, she literally thanked everyone for talking about this, bringing this to her attention and holding her accountable. So I'm not exactly sure why all of a sudden this is Drama Channel's fault. Drama Channel's are just going out here to try to villainize her and they know that by talking about this situation, it's going to drag Bianca even further and it's like, what are you really trying to gaslight your following right now because you're getting a little bit of heat online like girl come on i will say that i do appreciate the fact that gabby hannah came onto her youtube channel and made a public apology to bianca's mother her family her friends as well as to everyone that was offended in that situation now do i think it was the smartest route to go about it the way that she did with leaving the video up then just blurring out the image and the article and then taking it out completely without deleting the video 
No, I don't like how she did that. I think that when people started calling her out, she started to realize this is a huge problem. If she really did mess up, she should have just deleted the video and released a statement about it. Now, she said in her apology video, she didn't want to do it like that because she didn't want to draw more attention to it, which you were still drawing attention to it because your video is up. Everyone saw it. People started to get called out. Drama channels are alerted. <laughs> if that's what you want to say, like people start sending screenshots and all of that. And then you just blur it out which is getting more people to talk, and then you ultimately delete it, which is still getting more people to talk. If you would have just nipped it in the bud in the beginning and just said, hey guys, I'm gonna have to re-upload this video, might give an explanation as to why later, and then put it back up. I don't know, y'all. It's, it's just a messy situation. You know, when it comes to Gabby, it's like she doesn't wanna get into the drama, but she sure does like to cause a lot of it. <laughs> so that's just my opinion on it. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, and I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Someone spill the tea. Images can be shown. Fucking tea.